Hi, Carol here, and I'm back. I thought I'd do a part two, only because I wanted you to see. I ha I hate putting a card up, you know, with with most of the pro most of it finished, but you didn't get to see the process. So, um, what I did was I cut out a piece of baby blue cardstock and I distressed the edges with some Tim Holtz Distress Salty Ocean, and. I picked out some craft cardstock here and I vintage photoed the edges and this is going to be on top of here. I just want a small amount of this showing. And then I had a little bit, here's our white cardstock, our luxury Gina K white. And I am going to put this on here so the white edges are showing and here after I brushed off the gold flakes on there I added a little bit more of the gold Gansey watercolors I should have looked that up while I had a minute here I'm just downloading the for uploading the first video so that is it so far and I drew a stem and um, I'm, I, I tested this out. I want to do the leaves see-through on here. And then I took a piece of gold. I'm going to put down the side here. Not sure where yet, but this is gold glitter paper. And I had a little piece of this left over from my card I made. So I'm going to slide this in the side like that to bring out some dark, you know, because those leaves kind of have a black hue, the gold in this, um, and this, this is tea stained fragments. And um, it's made by Stampendous and it's mica tea fragrance, uh, fragments, excuse me, <laughs> it has no fragrance. It's $4.99 US and this, honestly, I bought a couple of jars of this. I don't know why because it'd be hard to use it all up unless you did a huge canvas. And um, I just brushed it all off with my, look at this, I'm going to have to do some major cleaning with that today. And this is how we're going to put this together. And then in my stash I found some K & Company, this great big gold, um, it's not a brad, it's just a gemstone. This gold one I kind of liked. And I'm going to pop that, whoops, something just fell right in the center like that. And well, I'm not going to pop that now or I'm not going to be able to do my leaf there, am I? I think I'm going to add, have to add some extra glue. So that's where we are right there. I'm going to set that on top of my paint. And here's the leaf. And I took out my color box pigment gold for the leaves. And I think that works out well. And then I'm going to use that midnight black embossing powder. And I, I get my vellum now at our uh, stationery store. And this is called painted uh, sea glass painted vellum. Isn't that gorgeous? See all the hues in there? It has all different colors. I picked up a couple in each color and it's a nice sturdy thick vellum and how you can't get any sweeter than that. Look at how they match the blues. Can I get that so you can see the vellum there? And then with the, uh, and I think doing the, uh, using the embossing, uh, excuse me, using your, um, oh, scoreboard, excuse me, your scoreboard and making score marks into the wood grain stamp. Can you see that? It really stands out. It's really nice. It's a nice uh, card. Turning out to be a nice card. So what I'm going to do is put that in the corner and I chose the Oh Happy Day from the Stampin' Up! set. I'm going to put that on the vellum and let's continue to quickly put this together. I'll try to do it in less than my normal time. So, let's first place our leaf. My, I've got that fragment stuff all over my shirt. Okay, 
So the pointy end, I am going to put, well, let me see here. There's a little bit of that fragment on there. So I have one leaf there, but I think what I'm going to do is give it one more um, pop with the gold. So line it up in your misty. Oh, I'm losing my... There we are. There we go. So I don't think that's good either, is it? Let's push this right up. I have a lot of projects going at the same time here. There we go. So you can see that. So I put it back in the corner over top of where I had it before. That's why I love this thing. And press down. Grab your color box uh, archival gold. Really pretty. And you really have to press on it. Well, this is new, so it's really juicy, but I found going over top of this cardstock. There we are. And let's put it down. Back up. Oh, that's pretty, and it shows the lines in there from the... Uh, I like that. Isn't that lovely? So, let's take this off. Try and... I'm going to clean that up in a second. Make sure your hands are clean, and I'm going to set that one right at the bottom, like so. Move my misty. I might be able to get this one just doing a second generation stamp. Let's see if I can. I'll press and hold it. Awesome. I love that. I'm not doing anything more with that. And if you use the misty, make sure that you are using this spray. The novice plastic clean shine, clean and shine. Um because it will take your grid off your mat if you're using anything else. So lift that up and I'll clean that with some stays on. You know, it comes out pretty clean, honestly, with just a baby wipe using that color box. Look at that. That's not bad. And then refresh your misty. Let me show you that. That second stamping came out beautiful. Okay, so let's close this up. I want to get this uploaded and put together. The funniest thing happened last night. I was um, wanting to put. A, I was wanting to do another card, and I took out a set that uh, my friend Janet got me, and it has two little owls in it. And I'm not kidding. I could not find the other owl and I have a huge garbage bin and it was three quarters full of garbage and I thought for sure I swept it in the garbage and I know most crafters have gone through this nightmare and I had to take twice I took everything out little by little microscopically to find that little owl and I did it twice and I could not find it it wasn't anywhere near my in my craft room I thought maybe it got stuck to something I was wearing. I mean, literally, and you know where it was? It was on the bottom of this tin because I was doing my colors like I was organizing this box last night. <laughs> and I went to put it away, my hand went underneath it, and there it was. Oh, I was so thankful, but boy, I should have checked underneath stuff before I started going rooting through garbage. Well, it's just paper, but still. Okay. Excuse me. So let's uh, let's start seeing how this is going to come together. Um, what do I need now? I'm going to. I'm going to leave the camera right there, and I'll, oops, maybe. Okay, I'm going to use my Stampin' Up Fast Fuse. I'm sorry for moving the ca camera. Here it goes again. Just a minute. are. 
there. I'll set it like that just for now till I get it put together. So let's see how this works. This fast fuse. So I have my base. Gina K Luxury 120 pound card stock. Love it. And I folded that the wrong way. See how you can tell? It's all jaggedy. You want to fold it opposite to how you um, how you put it in your scoreboard and then you won't get those lines like that and take your bone folder like that and I don't want to use that I'll put it away right away okay so let's start putting this together so I have the baby blue I'm picking up this the light blue in here and that see this is supposed to work well. You're supposed to put it down and make a check mark. Okay, so what I'm doing here. And let's put this on here. I want it all the way to the top. Well, oh, it does work well. It's not coming down, it's not coming off, so make sure you put that on there first time. And then I think I'm move it up a bit then we'll take our craft card stock oh got a little bit of goober there just didn't check mark it quite well enough there and I gotta think am I doing anything else to that card new no. no ribbons no, nothing. Okay, this looks good. Okay, we have that down. And then I am going to pick this up with um, some fun foam. So let me grab that. Grab a piece right here. And let's measure this and we will put that underneath. So I don't measure anything. I just, but I will with this. So I need it three and a half by five. Three and a half by five. Three. Let's do it right there. Really press in there. Run that through. Three and a half. This is why I got that new. Um, okay, let me try this other one. That's why I got the new cutter. Okay, let's put this up there, and make sure that's all the way down. Your big blade, this pulls out so that this can come up, and we'll set it right there. Okay, hold that down. Look at that, like butter, just like butter. I didn't even press on it. Wow. And then, oh, this has to be all the way down. There we go. And then let's do by five. I'm going to go just under five. Put your flap down. Hold it. I mean, that's not even touching it. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, cutter. This Fiskar. I use it for my board, for like the hard card board. Okay, so let's use this. See if we can peel off the back. I'm still going to add glue. I mean, I'd have to. That's pretty strong. Wow. That's real strong. Let's grab our piece. That little glitter stuff. I still have a few pieces hanging around. Okay, so let's put our fun foam on the back. 
We saw Jennifer McGuire do this and I thought, wow, that's a good idea. I have tons of this fun foam. There. And that'll pick it up just the right amount on here without using your roll of tape. So let's get some Suquang tape on here and we're almost finished. One. This is really sticky. This is all you'll need. Take your picky tool, Tim Holtz. Called a picky tool for so long, I don't even know what the thing is called. Poker tool? No. Pokey? No. Okay. Trying to get between the glue. There we are. Okay, this is really pretty, pretty card, put it even here, and oh I'm glad I saw this, let me put this on here first, yes, is that the right side, yeah, cardstock has a right and a wrong side. getting that back up. Let me run some. Oh, where's all my glues? I'll use a little bit of the uh, multimedia in the back of here. Oh. There we go. Uh, sorry. <coughs> okay, a stuffy head thing. Cold season. Lovely. There we go. And then we'll take that same. Or you know what? Maybe I'll fast fuse this. Awesome. Pull it in. Get the glue all off the edges here. Great. Okay. And where do I want this? Right there. I'll put it up a bit so I can have some wiggle room. I'll cut it off. There. Awesome. Isn't that pretty? Then take your scissors. Cut it off where you want it. Go this way. There. These are one of the first scissors I bought from Fiskars when I started crafting. Still holding up awesome. Okay, so we have that open. And let's get our vellum. And we're almost finished. So, I want it to, uh, well, let's just stamp, let's just put it on there and then we will, um, I want to see how this is going to look there. And I'll put it down. I love it. Just a nice big honking piece of bling. We'll use our multi-medium. No, you know what I'm going to use? A glue dot. A glue dot. There's one waiting for me right there. Okay. There we go. Press that in there. That's going nowhere. Then let's stamp. I wanted to show you how pretty that looked. Like that. And yeah, nice clean and simple card. Um, where's my first mark? And my oh happy day. Let's get that on there. Okay. 
Okay. It's on my block. Nice and juicy. And I think I want it where some blue is, so let's see. I can always cut around it. Let's go right there. Awesome. And get out your ultra detailed midnight black. I'm going to need a piece of paper. Paper towel will be just fine. There we go. Oh, I didn't use my baby powder. Turned out okay. Can't use that other thing. Where's that? Because it's black, he'd, oh, kind of messed that up a tad. There we go. I can see an accident happen right there. Okay. <sighs> Gonna try and not hit. <sighs> there. Perfect. Let's grab a nice paint tool. First one I grab. This gets hot really quick. that. I got a smudge on there. That's not good. Okay, we'll get my baby powder and do it again. Okay, let's start again. Okay, this time I'm prepared. Baby powder. For now I'll just use this because I don't have... Oh, it's right beside me. There we go. Now let's start this and use your Versa mark again. And I'm going to go up and down this time. Okay, whoop, that slid. See what happened there. Lift it up. Yeah, that slid. Oh my. Grab some more baby powder. <laughs> real time, folks, real time. <laughs> okay. Do this again. That's a slippery little piece of vellum. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go down and straight up. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. Now let's bring back our, let's heat this thing up here so it's nice and hot. Bring this back. Wow, what a difference. Just pushing it down and bringing it straight back up. Beautiful. Not, see that baby powder? Look at it. I don't know how that got there, but it's perfect. Yes. All right. Okay. Turn this over. And this is so hot. I'm going to do it from the back. Yeah. 
There we are. Beautiful. Okay. No matter how hard I try, I think it's because I'm not feeling I'm moving slow to move fast. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Let's get our cutting tool back here and we're finished. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I'll cut this off right. Pull that up against there. Bring my blade up. Move it right about there. And let's go in about there. Okay, that looks good. Let's get our card back. Okay, there we are. We zoom in. There, is that too zoomed in? That looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to make a small tag with my larger scissors. So let's cut this here. Then we'll go to the middle. Looks like the middle to me. One. No, I don't think that was the middle. It's my middle though. Okay, this is better. Let's try it one more time. Why are we such perfectionists? I mean, person receiving that, are they going to care? There. Wonderful. Okay. Now our decision is where does this go? It goes... Hmm. Should it go there? Should I move it up like that? That's perfect. Got it. I'm going to trust my scissor. Nope, I shouldn't have. There. Did it. Okay, let's get some. There's a certain runner that I have that does not um, show the... I think it's this one, actually. I'm going to try this. I could use glue dots, but I'm going to try this because I think this is pretty good. Yes, this was it. So let's get that up in the corner like so. Then you can add a glue dot or whatever if you want underneath there. I kind of like it up a little bit. And we are finished. Oh no, we're not. I need to um, finish this black.